Today is an absolutely beautiful day to do oxalic acid treatments. Yuppery. This is my other videos, late summer. Just about the time things start to cool down a little bit. I like to do Apigard. That's my first line of defense. After the Apigard, I give it about three or four weeks. And then I do an oxalic acid treatment and I do five treatments five days apart and then I kind of put them to bed for a while it is now just after Thanksgiving and I know that there's no brood and so it's another great time to hit them again knock down any mites that might be in there and then I'll do it again um, you know sometime in mid-January when we get a warm-up it keeps them healthy and these are the bees that are going to be making uh, things happen in the spring and uh, actually in the spring we're talking about February I want to make sure that they're happy and healthy and I will tell you let's take a step around front here and show you uh, how busy these guys are now for a December day that's got to make any beekeeper happy look at the activity in these hives I could not be more tickled so yeah that's a crazy lot of activity <laughs> but I'll tell you what I'm <laughs> I'm putting on a veil because they are crazy. Not that they're mean, not that they're angry, but they have no sense of flight. So they're doing their thing. And that thing is flying right into your hair. Uh, okay, so here's the process. So if you've been watching me long enough, you realize that uh, um, I try to plan ahead as much as possible, um, which means I never plan ahead. If you watch my off moxilic acid, video in the past you see that uh, um, I spray from the back I drilled holes in the back and of course um, I built all this brand new coverings this year and um, then came out the other day because it's gonna be cold and I put the top coverings on here to just it's extra around actually it's the top insulation should make a difference um, but then um, I have no way to get to <laughs> to the hole back here so what I'm gonna do is basically I have a canifus, and I know that the hole is about right there. And so we're gonna go down the line and we're gonna mark off where I have to cut. I'll come back and cut. And then we come back and do our OA treatment. I don't know if my microphone can pick it up, but can you hear that? That's just crazy. That's the sound of bees that haven't pooped in a couple days. Gotta keep going. There we go. Now we get to cut. I don't use it as a sharp kitchen knife, but it's doing exactly what I want it to. Basically slice along the top, slice down the side, and just like that, you have a window. Down the line we go. There we go. Now the fun part is getting the golf tees out. I learned the hard way a few minutes ago over at the Garden Club Apiary and I gotta have a handy tool for that. And here's my handy tool because of course, I really need a pair of pliers and of course, I don't have a pair of pliers. This will work just the same, basically. I'm using them just like a pair of pliers. Get in there and pull out. There we go. Get in, pull out, and out they come. You know, and there really is one thing that, if I've got a, a handy hint, a lesson learned, I don't care what you wanna call it, is the fact that when you have everything identical on your hives, you just zip down the line. You don't have to wonder if, or worry because one hive is drastically different than another. This you just, you're doing your thing. Okay. We're ready to treat. Let's do this. My handy dandy ammo box that contains my super handy dandy. Ah, love this thing. Okay, let's make this happen. So I talked about this in the first video I did about using oxalic acid. And I can't tell you enough just how 
dangerous it can be. It is crucially important that you use a respirator. It's important that you have some eye protection and it's important that you wear gloves. Gloves probably aren't the most crucial, um, but one of the things is, is that this gets really hot <laughs> and I'm really good at touching things that are hot and hurt myself. So I'm gonna put this on and show you going down the line. You can't really hear me too well when I've got the respirator on, um, but I'll try to talk through it a little bit. Um, and um, we're gonna zip down the line. It won't take me, oh, probably more than uh, five minutes to do all these hives. Normally I cover up the front entrance. I'm gonna try and see if I get enough without covering the front entrance because there's so many bees right now that it's gonna create a lot of havoc by closing them off. And I'd really rather not do that. So I'm gonna see if I can, if how much I lose out the front. I've done it before, it's been okay. Other times I'm like, eh, I'm not comfortable with it. I've got a little bit of a south wind coming from this direction. So it might actually help keep that into the hives. Plus these are all singles. Um, so, you know, you're not using, um, you don't have that much space to fill. I shouldn't say they're all singles. I've got uh, two, um, actually, I'm sorry. I've got three doubles here. Um, but uh, anyways, down the line we go, here we go. Mask on, let's make this happen. Okay, I've got everything on. I know you can't really hear me that well, but uh, I love this just battery operated. Make sure my voltage is where I want it to be. 19.1 on a 20 volt battery, I'll take it. I've already done four hives today on this and I uh, haven't even affected the battery. Then I need my oxalic acid. I can't wait to do the video. It shows you my new highly organized bee carrying thing, not just an old grocery bag. Gloves on, Instavape heating to 425 degrees. We are just about ready to go, down the line. So here we go. We're heated to 445. I might have said 425 over there earlier, but what do I know? I use about a gram and a half on a single deep. And there's a marking on this. It's probably hard to see. And then uh, you pull the plug. We're gonna see what comes out the front. I'm a little nervous about that. I don't wanna repeat, but into the hole it goes. Hit the plunger. Yeah, I'm losing a bit out the front, but I think I'm okay because I used a little bit extra. Because I also got it coming out the back. But stay out of the line of fire. And I'm not too, too happy about it, but hey, I'm just making you feel better. And down the line we go, back to 445. A little tight fit on that one. And it goes, turns her down, stay back. How are we out the front on this? See, pretty good. back in. Phone back in and down the line we go. Didn't want to go. How much are we using up the front? Hmm, quite a bit, so I think we're gonna be okay. Done. It warms up. These guys back. Make sure I'm back to 445. I am. The girl's unhappy. This is what I love about the Insta Vape. You just zip down the line.
A little bit of what the hell are you doing? Bye-bye, any remaining mites. And I know it looks like I'm losing a ton, but I'm really not. Because it shoots up and into the hive, and it's just basically circling back around. Yeah, we're losing some. I just put a little tad extra in just for the loss, and we're good to go. So there you have it. Just a few minutes makes it happen. Love this thing. There we go, turn it off. We're all buttoned up, we're ready to go on home. We got one more, I got six more hives to do at home and then uh, we're done for the day. Um, boy, it's a beauty too. So that does it. it. Doesn't take a whole lot of time, but I think it's a crucial thing to do uh, at this time of the year when you know there's no brood. So any mites that are out there just hanging on. We're at a 58 degree day right now, so the, cl the cluster's broken. Um, oxalic acid really has an opportunity to coat everything and, 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 and get knocked down any mites that still might be around. Hey, thanks for joining me today on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday in December. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate the subscriptions. Um, we're really trying to get close to or over a thousand and we're getting close. So if you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate that. And uh, questions in the comments, uh, hit that like button, all those good things that come along with at the end of YouTube and I think that somewhere it's obligatory to say them all. Anyway, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.